Hot Kids Time with Azara. It's Azara's time now. I've changed the name of my channel because everyone can watch it. So yeah, that's why I changed it. It's Azara's time. Sorry that I haven't been uploading lots of videos lately because the first reason is my editing system will go. Second reason is that too much of homework. If you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, then I'm Azara and Azara's time. you one, not two, not five, not even seven, but I'm oh. going to be telling you ten interesting facts about our planet, the Earth. Hey students, so today we'll be learning about which planet was named after which god, so the planet Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, Mars was named after the Roman god of love, Mercury was named after the goddess of love and beauty, Mars was named after the Roman god of war, and Uranus was named after the Greek god of the sky. Any doubt? Excuse me ma'am, I have a doubt. Who named planet Earth? As the name suggests, unlike all other planets in the solar system, the Earth is the only planet which was not named after a Roman or Greek god. Can you count how many stars there are in the sky? You kidding? You can't count the stars. <laughs> So we can't actually tell how many stars there are in the sky, but the astronomers say that there are about 100,000 million stars on an average in the Milky Way. Well, do you know what is more than that? There are an estimate of 10 non-million viruses present on planet Earth that is way more than the stars in the universe. Well, guess what? The Earth is struck by 100 lightning strikes every second. So per second, lightning is struck any part of the world. So that means right now in some part of the world, 100 lightnings are being struck right now. That makes it... 8.6 million lightning strikes a day. Well, do you know something else? The Earth is the only place in the whole solar system where we can see the solar eclipse. Do you know what a solar eclipse is? It is when the sun and the moon cross each other. The next interesting fact is that the Earth is not actually round in shape, it is actually geoid. That means that it is slightly bludge at the equator and that is caused by the Earth's rotation. Hey, guess what? My life, that means my generation, has started before 4 billion years ago. Wait a second kiddo, you're wrong. Although life, as we know it, has only existed on Earth for 150 to 200 million years. It is theorized that the Earth is almost 5 billion years old. Scientists are correct. Yes guys, as our dear role scientist said, we have only been living for 150 to 200 million years ago. So life has only started before then. But the Earth is actually 5 billion years old. <laughs> So, the next one that I'm going to be saying right now is going to be the craziest idea ever. So, if you are the craziest person in the world, then comment down below if you are, because I am. Oh, <laughs> so guys, the idea is actually if we put a tunnel right into the earth. And put a tunnel right into the earth and, like, jump into it. Jump into it. What will happen when we go to the other side or will we die or what will happen? That might be our thinkings, but actually it will take 42 minutes to reach the other side, which is what? I don't know that, but yeah, 
that's what is going to happen. If we jump into it, it will take 42 minutes to reach the other side. You might be guessing, how do I know that it will take 42 minutes? Well, actually, I haven't jumped into it because I won't jump into it. But if you want to try, then do it. Is Earth the only planet to have life? Actually, yes, Earth is the only planet in the whole entire solar system to say that Earth is the only planet to have life. None other planet has life and none of our astronomers have found out that yet. Earth is the only planet to have life, but still, we don't know for sure. Well, I don't know for sure. I will become an astronaut in the future and I might go to the other plants to check out if there are aliens or people, other people living there. Maybe they might. Who knows? I have to go on your spaceship because I need to go to planet Earth right now. <laughs> You guys really hate long classes, long meetings and stuff like that, but actually the days in our planet are getting longer. The moon is actually moving away from our planet 3.82 centimeters away from our planet every year. So in about 200 million years later, there will be exactly 25 hours every day on our planet. So we won't be living at that time, so enjoy our no. And a study also says that before 1.8 billion years ago, our Earth had only 18 hours every day. That will make it so happy for the students going to school. Wait, did students go to school? Yeah, people might have gone to school. No. So, last but not least, we have our last fact. By the title given down below, you might be guessing how did Earth get a baby? How did it? Actually, Earth did have a baby and that was... Wait till the end. Earth's baby was formed during a collision between Earth and another small planet by the size of Mars. So the debris collected in the orbit around Earth formed the moon. Debris means several small tiny rocks. The whole forming of this moon thing is called the giant impact theory. So guys, that's all I have for you today. If you really enjoyed this video, then tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. And also, if you want to see more videos like this one, then tell me what kind of topic you want me to tell you in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.